Welcome back to part 10. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. Okay, apparently she wants to take over Mexico for some weird reason. I, I can't imagine why, but anyways, there's that glue bottle I forgot. And uh, no, no reason to show me taking out the guards again, so let's open up this vault. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be 588. Well, good thing you always do your math right, because I don't always do my math correct. Wish I was that good at math. Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. Is that safe? That doesn't sound very safe, but uh, okay. So yeah, now uh, the raccoon roll uh, has an electric attack with it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it makes the uh, raccoon roll a lot more useful if you ask me. And, uh, yeah. Looks like we can't get over to this area quite yet. That sucks. Although, in actuality, it's not doesn't really suck because, uh, yeah, I'm just going to say it. The levels over there mostly suck. Like, almost all of them. And here's the electric roll, by the way. So you can roll right into enemies and take them down, but uh, I... I don't know, I, I just never really liked the roll move that much. It, it's a little quicker than running, I find. In fact, a lot of people recommend uh, nine trying the uh, the speedrun levels until you get the electric roll. But, uh, I don't know, I just, I'm not a big fan of it. Anyways, Lair of the Beast. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe... She's trying to keep something in. Wouldn't shock me, actually. I mean, considering the name and all, that, that kind of just suggests something's back there. So, uh, some good news, though. This is one of the few levels in this world that actually is pretty fun. I actually really like this one. This one's pretty good. Uh, the others reign from alright to god-awful, unfortunately, so, yeah. This one, though, this one's pretty fun. This is definitely the highlight of this world, in my opinion. Yeah, Alright, so, go over here, and there's some more clue bottles for us. Hooray. And, uh, I don't plan on missing any clue bottles this time. Oh, hey, man, wait a minute. You almost got me that time. <laughs> but not this time. No. Thought maybe I could jump onto it, but no. Alright, there we go. And I believe that's all of them, so let's get moving. Yeah, backwards slide, not forwards. No, thought maybe I could drown with that branch, but apparently not. But there's a clue bottle hanging here, so get that, get that one. Oh, hello. Nice, uh, nice to meet you all. Not really, because, uh, screw spiders. <laughs> I don't like them, what can I say? They are the most terrifying thing ever. Not as much as these ones, because they're, you know, digital, but, uh, they're real life, oh god. Yeah, it's, uh, for some reason they put a bunch of candles up here so they get in the way as you're walking up, so you gotta take those out. Kind of an odd design, but I, I guess it's just flavoring for the level design. Like, uh, yeah, it's a creepy voodoo swamp. Let's have candles everywhere, but who puts candles on branches like that? That is just weird. Seriously. Anyways, moving on. Oh boy, another spider. Alright, get over here. You're going down. There we go. 
Okay, no bottles or anything over here. Good to see. So we go over here and a giant fly or mosquito or whatever. Gotta hate mosquitoes, seriously. Mosquitoes suck. Spiders might be the most terrifying thing ever, but mosquitoes are the most annoying thing ever. I, I believe I mentioned that before, but I'm mentioning it again. Screw spiders and screw mosquitoes. There, it looks like this branch actually has a clue ball, so let's go grab that one. These walls are making me Oh, calm down, Bentley. I didn't see any rings. I think you're just hallucinating or imagining a thing, something like that. I don't know. All I do know is there's no way there's anything in here. I hope. I mean, it is called, uh, I can't remember the exact name, but it says something about a beast. So that is somewhat concerning. And almost missed that one. I don't think so, though. No way am I missing any clue bottles. That is not happening. And looks like we got uh, some more over there. Take out that mosquito first. Yep, oh, I saw something breakable there. There was not. Here, right, let's see if I can get back up there. Yep, awesome. Oh, no, get get that bottle. There we go. It's only seven more to go. We're almost almost done with those. Oh, darn it. I hate these ones on the slides. Well, not because they make me kind of hard to hit, but uh, it's, at least you can go back, so it's not horrible. Hmm, what the heck is it? Oh, crap. Bentley was right. There's something there. That is one ugly... I have no idea what that is. A snake or something? Crap. There we go. Yes, I risked my life for that bottle. I don't care. I gotta get them all. It's like Pokemon. Gotta get them all. I know it's gotta catch them all, but still. All right, there we go. There's the last one. We're good. We are good. All right, now let's run. Just run away. Stupid candles, stop blocking the way. Why did anybody put candles up there? How are they even attached? Are they attached with super glue? Or maybe the wax melted and it just kind of got entangled on there who knows definitely not me but anyways that was that level and it, it actually is pretty fun I like that little chase at the end that was actually kind of fun and here's the vault, Enter the vault code. I had to overcome some personal demons to get the answer to this one try four 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 what uh okay I I, I don't see why you'd have to overcome demons for four 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 there's something else I can understand, but uh, not that one. Ah, a more modern entry. Bruce O'Koop's computer hacking technique. Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout and project guard information into your binocucom. In other words, it's pretty much useless, but it is kind of cool because you can find some interesting fun facts about some of the guards around and whatnot, so... Yeah, I, I guess I can't say it's completely useless. It just doesn't really help you much. It's just kind of there for entertainment, I guess. So, yeah, it's kind of cool, I guess. Right, so back to the swamp's dark center. And, uh, yeah. On to the next one. Looks like there's one over here. Or no, wait, that's the one I just went in. Duh. What do we have over here? Uh, I think I'm, yeah, I'm on the wrong side. Let's see here. Enjoys golf. Yeah, that's, uh, it's real helpful, guys. I'll remember that he enjoys golf for the, the part where we play golf with him. Spoiler alert, there is no part where we play golf with him. Why are you telling me this? Yeah, whatever. Next up, the a grave undertaking. Yeah, I actually think this one's not too bad now I remember, think back on it. Yeah. It's the other one that I'm thinking that I didn't really like too much, but this one's not so bad. 
Sly, you'd better be on your guard here. My paranormal scanners show this place is really haunted. I believe it. Because there are a lot of ghosts in this level, let me tell you. A lot of annoying ghosts. Now that was very interesting. That's that gravestone, the ghost stopped coming. It must be some kind of ghost generator. Maybe if you smash them all, you'd be safe. Makes sense to me. So, yeah. Go out to smash a bunch of tombstones to get ghosts to stop coming out. That is very odd. Like, very, very odd. And kind of disrespectful, too. I mean, we, we shouldn't be destroying gravestones, right? Yeah, they, yeah, maybe they're not their actual gravestones, because really, who would bury that many people under there, right? Who would bury that many ghosts under there? Nobody, I hope. Alright, so... Oh, almost missed that bottle. I don't think so. No way am I missing any. Alright, so now we got, uh, some torches over here that, uh, be kind of a pain. For whatever reason, I forgot that they're shooting fire and I went right away like an idiot, but, uh, yeah. This is all time thing, just wait for the flames to stop and, uh, you shouldn't get hit. I probably shouldn't have got hit, but I forgot, oh yeah, it's not just the middle one, it's, it's all of them. I wasn't paying attention, my bad. But, whatever. I had two lucky charms, so, no big deal. And look at how many freaking ghosts there are, man. If, if you don't destroy those, uh, well, I guess that, those ones didn't look like tombstones, did they? I'm just going to call them generators from now on. If you don't destroy those ghost generators, they can pour out pretty quickly and be quite the pain. I knew something had to be down there, so good thing I looked around. That's the name of the game, after all. You gotta look around to find everything. It looks like there's a safe over there. Oh, crap. Try this again. All right. Sneak over here. Get that safe. Grab those bottles, too. Alright. So, making good progress with those so far. Oh, boy. Now we got lasers. So, be careful on those, because if you hit them, you'll set off the alarm. But, uh... Yeah, it's really not that hard. Just don't, you know, go moving the, you know, make sure you pause is what I'm trying to say. You know, just stop for a minute, let it get ahead of you a bit, and then keep going. So, yeah, it's not so bad. But it will set off the alarm, like I mentioned, so be careful around them. Unless you're trying to get through quickly, in which case, yeah, go ahead and just, you know, hurry up. But, uh, I'm not doing any speed runs here, so, yeah. In fact, I've never done a speed run in my life, now I think about it. Maybe I should try that sometime. Okay. Jump over here. And, yeah, giant chandelier, or whatever this is supposed to be called. Although it doesn't really look much like a traditional chandelier. It's got a big flame in the middle of it. wonder how that works. It's kind of cool looking, actually. One way to light up your house, I guess, although this isn't a house, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's, uh... Over here we got more of those torches, but, uh... Yeah, glue bottle up there. That's easy to miss, but thankfully I caught it. But, uh, thing you want to do first is actually go over there. I didn't because I was like, uh, that seems like the way to go. No, this is the way to go. Over there are some clue bottles that you want to get, so don't make the same mistake I did. Because now I have to backtrack. I'll catch on before I finish the level, don't you worry, but, uh... I am like, wait a minute, this, this is the way I'm supposed to be going. There must be something over there, and then I also noticed the bottles bouncing around over there, so I'm like, oh crap. And then I fell in the water, I'm like, oh crap. I did not mean to do that, but, uh, I got the water shield, so what am I worried about? Just takes a few seconds away from me is all, no big deal. Yeah, big deal. So yeah, always go for the crock head first. Look at those burning eyes. How are they how are they doing that? How do you get the flames going on there? I'm kinda curious now. 
I know I'm looking too far into this. I'm just curious. What can I say? I'm a curious fellow. Okay. And another ghost generator. Oh boy. So many of those. And ah, that sucked. Seriously, I hate when they put on like platforming sections like that because it's pretty much guaranteed you're going to take a hit because you can't get away from them or take them out in time before you can jump over, so that's kind of annoying. Anyways, though, safe over here. Let's open that up. Get those clue bottles, and we only got nine to go. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Looks like there's one bouncing over there, but uh, we'll get that when we actually get over there. Because unfortunately, you can't jump, just jump through the wood there. Oh crap! No! Ah, almost me. Almost got killed there. That that would have been bad. Whew, that was close. All right. Yeah, looks like there's one over here. Goody. Couple more over here. There we go. So, five to go, if I recall correctly. What the? I don't know how I got stuck there, but that was weird. There, it doesn't look like there's any more over here, so let's uh, go cry. Oh, crap, more ghosts. Ah, shoot. Gosh darn it. Oh, that sucked. All right, let's try that again. This time, no failing. And hey, there's a horseshoe over here. Lucky charm, my bad. I also got enough coins for the other one, so that's why I have a gold one instead of just the silver one. So yeah, if you actually have a full horseshoe, gosh darn, lucky charm, uh, apparently they don't show up. But they, they just, they're just left there. That's interesting. I actually did not know that. We go over here, there's the vault, but uh, we're still missing four clue bottles. I wonder where they, oh, there's a couple vaults over here. We're good. We got it, guys. Another perfect round. Let's open that vault. Press the circle to enter the vault code. Okay, okay. This is kind of a guess, but try one, two, eight. A guess? Really? Well, it worked. These are the blueprints to Miss Ruby's production facility. I'll pipe this information into your binoculum. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. Okay. So, two levels in and we got that. Not not bad, actually. Just too bad uh, most of the levels here aren't platforming levels like this, so you won't really be looking for clue bottles much, unfortunately. But, uh, we'll talk about that when we get to the other levels. So, anyways, folks, that's going to do it for me in this episode. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later.